Hey guys, what is going on? So today I have an album review. I'm gonna do uh, not just car, an entire just car review, but most of the albums by uh, one of the best thrash bands ever, Megadeth. So I don't have Killing as my business, and I'm just gonna do everything from this to uh, Euthanasia, uh, since that's all that I own, other than Dystopia, but I've already reviewed that. And uh, I don't own Killing as my business, like I said. I wanna get that sometime. It'd be nice to have on vinyl. Oh. Yeah, that's fucking hot right now. Alright, okay, um. So, very classic album. A lot of, some people say this is the best one, and some people say Rust in Peace is the best one. I prefer Rust in Peace over this, but this one is still very, very good. It's not as technical as the, a lot of their other stuff after this, but it's it's a near-perfect album, and it's very classic. So, uh, here's the album cover done by Ed Repka, I think. Um, very, I really like it. It's probably my, one of my favorite like album artwork guys. Like I also like the stuff he did for Death a lot, too, even more than Megadeth, but... Really great album cover with like big row head and um, you know like after like uh, like a nuclear uh, attack. There's the back. Um, there's really nothing inside since it's part of a box set. So there's the back, which is the track listing. And you've got like four bonus tracks. They're all uh, just remixes uh, or, or the original mix, I guess. It says Randy Burton's mix because this is a remaster. I prefer the original mixes actually over the remasters, but um, except for the Canada New Extinction. But anyways, I mean, there's the disc, nothing too special, um, so, yeah, I guess I don't know. Alright, so it opens up with Wake Up Dead, one of the most popular Megadeth songs. Uh, really great song, it's almost an instrumental, there's only lyrics in the beginning part of it. It's a really great song, really kick-ass, thrashy riffs. Uh, the song's basically about a guy, like, cheating on his wife and hoping that she doesn't find out, basically. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, really kick-ass riffs, like I said, though. Uh, I also really like the part um, where he just says, like, you know, with the lyrics where he's like, you die, wake up dead. And his voice, there's, like, some sort of effect on his vocals. That sounds really freaking creepy, and it's just really cool. Second song is really underrated, and that's The Conjuring. A really kick-ass song. I think the lyrics are about, like, summoning, like, summoning up the devil, except instead of the devil, you summon up Dave Mustaine. I think that's what the lyrics are about, if I remember correctly, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just a really good song. Really cool riffs in the beginning of that song, too. That's not very ominous, so yeah. Uh, Peace Sells is in, like a classic, one of Megadeth's most well-known songs, if not their most well-known. Their most well-known is probably, like, Holy War is the punishment, do. But, um, Peace Sells is such a good song. Really catchy. I love the lyrics, too. With the, you know, like, what do you mean I don't believe in God? I talk to him every day. What do you mean I don't support the system? I go to the court when I have to. It's really funny, but really good. Or, what do you mean I hurt your feelings? I didn't know you had any feelings. It's really good and really, really great riffs um, in that song. I really like the bass line, too. Uh, really kick-ass song. Um, so, yeah. Devil's Island is... That, after P sells, the album kind of gets a little bit uh, repetitive. This is a very repetitive album. It's not the kind of album that you could kind of, like, listen to over and over in one sitting. You kind of have to, like... With this album, for me, uh, or with a lot of mega stuff for me, I can't sit and listen to it over and over. Like, I have to, like... I can only listen to it every once in a while because it gets... It sucks and it gets sticking... Yeah. It gets stuck in your head really easily, and yeah. So yeah, uh, Devil's Island is a really great song though. It is really, it's really catchy, but it's very repetitive. But yeah, uh, and then there's Good Morning slash Black Friday. Uh, Good Morning, it's like an intro that's like really slow and more melodic, I guess. And then Black Friday, it's just kick ass, just like classic thrash metal, fucking like. Oh, uh, it's so cool. Like, it's a very underrated song. It's just really badass, and the lyrics are basically like really um, homicidal. And just really awesome. Uh, you know, just really kick-ass. And this was, like, I don't know. I really like the lyrics, a lot of the lyrics of Megadeth, the early stuff. Uh, especially compared to now, it's, like, always, like, on, like, dystopia. Dave Mustaine's talking about all these weird, like, fucking political conspiracies and shit. But he's talking about, like, really badass stuff on here. And he also talked about, like, murder and stuff a lot, which is just really just kick-ass. A lot of thrash bands talk about murder, but I don't know. Black Friday is really good, just a really kick-ass song. Pretty heavy song for its time, because this came out before Rain and Blood, I think. So, yeah, um, I'd say that when this came out, it's safe to say when this came out, this is probably the heaviest thing out at the time. Uh, at least in, like, the mainstream, not in the underground, because you had, like, um, were Celtic Frost out in, around this time? I think Celtic Frost were around at that time, so Celtic Frost are heavier than Megadeth, in my opinion, but I mean, like, I'd say in Thrash, this was the heaviest album. Um, until Rain and Blood came out, but yeah, really good album wall. On this album. Um, but, anyways, then there's Bad Omen, which is really good. I really like the intro of that song. It sounds very, like, worn out. Like, it's difficult to explain it, but worn out, as is, like, this, it sounds like some sort of, 
Okay, this is a little explain. It sounds really worn out, like, very, it's a very tired sounding song, but in a cool way, where it sounds like it's like, I don't know, you have to hear it to understand, but that intro, that song is just kick ass, so yeah, Bad Omen is a really good song. And then there's a cover of I Ain't Superstitious, I forgot the name, what the fuck was the name of the doing to that? I think it was like some blues guy or something, I, I sound like, I sound like such an idiot. Um, I've heard the original version of this, of that song, though, and this is a very different version, it's all like thrashed up, I guess. And, um, there's always, like, it's very different. It's a completely different song, pretty much. But it's a really good song. Very different from everything else on here. I think they changed the lyrics, too, but yeah. So, I had Superstitious. Probably my least favorite song on this whole uh, release, but it's still good. Like I said, this is a pretty much a perfect album. And then there's My Last Words, which is really good. It has, um, an interesting intro, I guess. Uh, I don't know. My Last Words isn't super memorable, but it's still a very good song. And then there's the bonus tracks, which are all the uh, Randy Burns mix, which I assume is the original mix, unless it's just an alternate mix that was never released, um, on the bonus track, so there, you have Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, Peace Cells, and then Good Morning slash Black Friday, so those are all really cool too, um, the mix has a lot more reverb on the drums and stuff, I actually kind of like that sound a little bit better than, it sounds a little bit too polished, the remaster, uh, I prefer the original mix, I don't know, but yeah, this isn't my favorite Megadeth album, my favorite is the one I'll be doing next, which is So Far So Good So Wet, but this is still a very kick-ass release, and just awesome album. So yeah, Megadeth Peace Sells, but who's buying um, Essential Thrash album. So yeah, this, video, this review turned out pretty short, but that's mostly because I wasn't really showing anything in the packaging, because there wasn't really anything to show. But yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll probably be doing uh, So Far So Good To What after this, and then I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.